Monday of April, looking at temperatures at 36 degrees here in Lima, 39 degrees in Columbus. We do have mainly cloudy skies, blanketed the area overnight and kept those temperatures from getting any lower. So really preventing us from getting any frost. So clouds, not all a bad thing for us. You can see where it did clear out last night. It is 29 in Indianapolis and we have 32 in South Bend, 29 up there in Madison, Wisconsin. So again, those cooler temperatures where we did lose more of those clouds overnight last night. We look locally this morning. We're sitting at 33, the cooler spot in Salina and Minster. We do have more breaks in the clouds present for areas to the south. Again, as a result, you guys did get a little bit cooler. And we have Finley, the warmer spot this morning, just under 40, sitting at 39 degrees. We take a look at the wind chill. It is a little bit lower than the temperature, so just keep that in mind. It feels like 29 this morning in Kitten and Upper Sandusky. We have a wind chill in Lima at 30 degrees. So definitely a brisk feel to the air outside this morning. Skies mostly clear. County. We are dry overall. There could be a rape passing shower, maybe even a flurry. With those temperatures as low as they are, the air mass aloft is fairly cold, so not inconceivable that a flake of snow could make it to the ground, but mainly dry conditions expected this morning. We look at those clouds last night. They really obscured our view of what would have been a great chance to see the northern lights last night. This picture just southwest of our area near Indianapolis. You can see the array of the greens. We have the purples, just amazing shot there. I would love to see any pictures. If anyone did manage to get a glimpse of the Northern Lights with any breaks in the clouds, again, you can send those over to my Facebook page. But again, overall clouds prevailed last night. And what is prevailing as we move forward is a temperature pattern that's for a lot of you, I'm sure, just a little too cool for comfort here. As we look at the jet stream pattern, we've got that trough in place. We've got this upper low that sits near Lake Superior and things are we're just kind of stuck right now. We've got this blocking high that sits over eastern Canada. And underneath this high, it's actually really mild for this time of year. So areas in the southern part of Greenland are basking in a nice spring pattern, while here we're just drawing in that cool air mass. And things are just kind of a kind of blocked right now. You know, the normal west to east flow is disrupted because of that. So it just keeps everything in place for a while. And the result here is going to be a below normal temperature pattern, not just for today or tomorrow, but really the next 10 days or so. We are locked in to temperatures staying below where they should be for this time of the year. We're looking at temperatures this afternoon to the upper 40s. More clouds than sunshine. As we take a look at our skycast, you notice any sunshine will just kind of help form more clouds as the day goes on. We might see a couple of those spotty showers, very similar to what we had yesterday, but I do think most of the day will be dry. We move forward into tonight, we'll start to lose a lot of those clouds with a gradual clearing trend. So that should allow temperatures to get a little bit lower tonight. In fact, I think many of us will see frosty conditions and looking at tomorrow's forecast, slightly warmer with temperatures reaching the low 50s by the afternoon. We'll see increasing clouds, a chance for a few showers moving back into the area on Tuesday. We will see some improvements by midweek. Wednesday, partly cloudy at 55. Thursday, back up to 60. Temperatures not too bad by Friday and Saturday, low to mid 60s, but we will also be dodging a chance for some scattered showers for the weekend forecast. And then we're looking at another dip of cooler air beginning early next week, looking at a high on May 1st of only 50 degrees.